Hi everyone, hope you're all safe and well. Welcome to another instalment of my YouTube videos. This week we're going to do something a little bit different, so you might be used to me putting out videos of me playing my own stuff, the odd cover here and there, and talking about albums and songs that have inspired my life and my songwriting. But this week we are going to talk about the harmonica. It's an instrument that I've not played for that long really, I think I started learning it around 2016, 17. Um, 2016 sounds more like the right year, to be honest. Um, and disclaimer, I am in no way, shape or form a virtuoso. I am not prolific in any style. Um, I just play in a sound and style that speaks to me and fits my songwriting. Uh, based on the people that inspired me to want to play the harmonica. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so how did I get into the harmonica? Let's see. So if we go back to 2016, um, I was a very big Bruce Springsteen fan um, before 2016. And I didn't know that Bruce played the harmonica when I first got into him. It was only by watching live videos that I saw him doing, you know, like the intro to Thunder Road where he would kick it off with the harmonica. Um, and then he would play like, you know, songs like This Hard Land where he's got the acoustic and do a solo acoustic versions and add the harmonica in there. And I used to think that was amazing. Um, but it wasn't until I actually saw and heard Ryan Adams playing the harmonica that I actually thought I want to do that and I want to learn it now. Um, there was an album called Live at Carnegie Hall, which he released. Um, it's just him, acoustic and he plays the harmonica, and he'll play songs like, you know, like My Sweet Carolina, which doesn't have harmonica in the original version. It's got more of a piano solo, but he adds harmonica in it when it's just him. And to be honest, I prefer that version, but it was that kind of harmonica playing that spoke to me. So like Bruce, Ryan, and obviously Bob Dylan, um, because when you listen to Bob, it's he's got that messy quality to his music. Um, it's rough around the edges and that, you know, you've got to keep that in there. You don't want everything to be polished. Um, so that's what really got me into it. Um, and hearing Ryan play made me want to learn because it was just so emotive the way he was playing as well. Um, and alongside what he's singing about, you know, it, uh, it just spoke to me. So I remember asking, I think it was Christmas one year, I asked my mother to get me a set of harmonicas and I don't have them anymore, the ones that she got me, but it was like a... I went straight on to Horner. I hope I've pronounced that correctly, but that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and it was like a, a pack, and it had a zip around it. It was, it was a black padded case, and in there were all the keys. Well, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so seven harmonicas. It didn't have sharps and flats in there. Um, and I remember they had plastic combs. They were very, very basic ones. They were just beginners ones. Um, and that's what got me started, really. Um, I learned how to actually breathe properly with the harmonica and with those, and how to bend notes, which um, you know YouTube came in very handy for. That's the one thing I noticed. All the people that were playing the harmonica who I wanted to sound like, I wanted to incorporate that style into my songs, they were all bending notes, and we'll get into that soon. We'll talk more about it in a bit. Um, so yeah, I started on this, uh, this starter kit, shall we call it. It got me well on the way. Um, but what I was finding was I was playing them too hard. So what would happen is they would start going out of tune. He would blow a G harmonica, so a harmonica in the key of G. And it wouldn't sound like it was G, it would sound like something else. It would sound like a really out of tune or bright piano. Um, and we all know how bad that sounds. Well, I hope you do. It sounds pretty bad if you've not heard one. Um, so then, you know, I realised, you know, you've got a kind of honing your technique a little bit and not blow so hard, be gentle, caress it, be gentle with it. <laughs> it's a delicate flower and you've got to blow it in it nicely. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, then I, once I got a little bit better, I started going on to better harmonicas and the very first one I got after that starter kit was a marine band because I learned that Bruce, Ryan and I think Bob has probably played marine bands in the time. I know that Bruce certainly does now and I know that Ryan does now as well. Um, so the first one I bought was this one which is 
um, a marine band, it's in a white case there, I'm trying to cover up the background so it focuses in, hopefully it will. Um, and that they all come with that same cover on it, they actually have the marine band on it. When I saw it, I was like, why is it called a marine band? And then it turned up with a picture of an actual marine band on there, I was like, no shit, oh well. Um, yeah, strange. But uh, I'm guessing they use these harmonicas in the Marine Band. I don't know much about Horn at all, except that they are a fantastic harmonica make. Um, 1896, I'm guessing that's how long they've been going. But anyway, I bought this harmonica. I had a song called Darling Let It Be Me that I wrote, and I could just hear a harmonica in it. Um, and that was the intention as well, to actually write a harmonica solo in there. The song is in the key of B flat, hence why we bought this one in the key of B flat. And... This is the actual one I've, the first marine band that I bought, um, and I've not managed to break it, which is good, so I must be doing something right. So, one thing I noticed that was totally different, when I got the marine band, it looked a lot sexier than the, the basic ones I was playing, because um, it had this wooden comb, I hope you can see that there, wooden around there, where it says owner on that, it's wooden. The ones I was starting out on were plastic, um, and this also has um, brass combs, I believe, um, and then it's got a nice silver casing around it as well, and then it has all the writing that says Marine Band, and then the numbers on the holes. So I wrote the harmonica solo and managed to bend notes and stuff like that. I'll play a little bit of the harmonica solo now. Um, and I don't think it would fit any other harmonica except the Marine Band, to be honest. But if you go check out the video on YouTube, um, I released it in 2019, and this is the solo that's in it. back into the chorus. Um, if you want to hear that with some music behind it, I recommend you go check it out. Like I said, I am not a virtuoso in any way. Um, but yeah, so just a nice sound, very clear, um, easy to bend notes on this. I was finding that I didn't break these because I wasn't having to kind of suck as hard and lower the tongue as much to bend the notes, whether that's the right technique, I don't know. Um, I could go gentle with these. Um, So, um, yeah, lasted a long time. And it could be because it's a better quality of a harmonica. There is a difference in price. This costs a bit more than the starter kit that I had. I wish I could remember the name of the starter kit, but have a look. Seven harmonicas in a black padded case. I'm sure they still do them. Um, but bending notes. So you might notice that that solo has quite a lot of bend, bent notes in there. Um, I learned to do this but through YouTube, so if, if you're watching this and you want to learn the harmonica, then just check out YouTube. I am not the best person to teach you because, to be honest with you, I don't know what I do. All I know is I suck, and it's something to do with the tongue, but it got to the stage where I just did it that much that it becomes second nature, um, which is kind of where you want to get to, really. Um, but I'm not going to teach you because I don't know how. Um, yeah, and I just kept doing it more and more. Obviously, I would be like... You'd find my head bobbing up and down. I'd be like... It's not bending, it's not bending. And then, you know, I've watched a few videos and then... Oh my God, it's coming, it's coming in. Oh, it's nearly there, it's nearly there. Almost, almost. Got it, there you go. And it's just a case of doing it more and more. So, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And I'm probably not even that good at bending notes, so if there's a pro harmonica player watching this, probably thinks that what a load of shit. But, you know, it works for me, so I don't care. Um, so that's the Marine Band, um, and that's my favourite one, if I'm being honest. Um, I love writing, I don't know what it is, but songs in the key. When you get a guitar and you put a capo on the third fret, and then, obviously that puts it, when you play in a G shape, you're in the key of B flat. There's something nice about this. I've got another song coming out. Um, where I use this harmonica too, so keep a look out for that. I'm not going to play the solo, so don't give it away, because anybody who watches these live streams and knows my music will know what song is coming out, so you have to keep a look out on that one. So that's Marine Band. Um, I did have a Marine Band in the key of G, but it got lost in a move, so I don't have that one anymore. 
So we replaced it with this one. And I went for the Special 20. So I hope you can see that there. Now this one is, I think it was around the same price, could have been a little bit more. And this one is different in terms of, it's got a plastic comb. Um, I think it's still got the brass reeds inside though. Um, but yeah, plastic comb and a little bit, just a little bit bulkier inside. So you can really tell you're playing something a bit bigger. It doesn't feel as, um, as delicate, um, but it's a fantastic harmonica. Has a different sound. Um, sounds a little bit deeper, to be honest. The other one, I find the Marine Band cuts through more. Could be to do with the key of the harmonica, I don't know. This one's in G, that one's in B flat. Um, but this one just seems to have a bit more resonance, if that's the word, I don't know. Just be a bit lower in tone, I don't know. Um, but yeah, again, bought this one because I lost the other one, but also I have a song in the key of G that I needed a harmonica for, and this one does the job. It's a fantastic harmonica. I actually like changing between the two. Um, it's good to have a bit of variation, really, so. As you can tell, I don't do all of this. I don't do any of that. Because usually, when I'm playing it, I have a guitar strapped on me and I have to wear this thing, which is like a huge brace. I suppose it's a harmonica brace. So it's usually like that. This is also Horner, by the way, this uh, this harmonica brace. Yeah, so I'm usually playing it like that. the one in G. I'm going to take this off though because you feel like a plonker when you're sat there and you don't have guitar on you. So that explains why I don't do any of them. I don't even know how to do that properly but um, yeah so that's the special 20 in the key of G. And the latest edition which my um, girlfriend got me at Christmas is this one. Never played this one before until now um, and this is a blues harp again by Horner but this is in the key of C. A um, bit weird really, because I had a song that I needed a harmonica in the key of C. Um, I have got another one, which is like probably one of the oldest living harmonicas I've ever seen, but I'll get to that one in a bit. Um, and she got me this one, a blues harp. And I'd heard about these. The case is pretty cool for these. A bit awkward, but it's quite thin, which is good. You know, easy to carry around. But you press these two buttons here. Can I do it back to front? There you go. And it opens up, I thought we were gonna have a, like an epic fail there. Um, and then it opens up like that. And then inside, it's like quite a sexy looking harmonica. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably like the nicest looking of all three of them. Um, again, a wooden comb. This one looks a little bit more finished off, to be honest, a little bit darker wood. I don't know if you can see that. Um, bit bigger in terms of the holes, if compare it to the Marine Band. Looks a lot different. So the marine band is on top, and then the blues harp on the bottom. Um, yeah, but sounds great. Got gold edges as well. Really nice. Yeah, sounds pretty cool that one. I know that song. Um, so yeah, that's the blues harp. Nice, and then the latest edition. So yeah, really good, happy with that one. Um, so I only have four harmonicas in total, that's three of them. And uh, the other one that I've got is this one, and it's a Horner Pro harp. Uh, this one was my granddad's, and it was just lying about his house. I don't really play live with this one because it's, uh, it's a bit old and I'm frightened to break it, but again in the key of C.
Yeah, sounds pretty good. Um, all black as well. I don't even know if you can get these anymore. But a plastic comb. Um, I mean, it's lasted while I play with it at home and stuff. So I don't see there's no why there's any reason why I couldn't play it live. It's just me being a bit paranoid, I think. But yeah, I don't know too much about this one. So if anybody has any knowledge of the Horner Pro Harp, let me know in the comments below because um, I can't find any info. To be honest, I haven't really looked. I'm a bit lazy. So, But the one thing I like with this one, so in all of the other cases, this part where the harmonica sits doesn't come out. It does on this one and it comes with a cloth. You don't get a cloth with the other one. So Horner, if you're watching, which I'm sure you're not, um, give us a cloth. There's a lot of spit that comes out of these things. And you know, when I'm on a live stream or I'm at a gig, it's habit when you finish playing and you take the harmonica off the brace and you do that, that you know, there's a few people in the house go, ooh, nasty, but give us a cloth. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're my harmonicas. I don't have that many in total. I am still growing it because I'm a songwriter and I'm playing different keys on the guitar and the piano and there's always things where I think that could do with a harmonica solo and I don't have something in that, I don't have a harmonica in that key. So I am still growing it. Um, they're not the cheapest of things, you know, for a decent one, the marine band, you're probably looking at what, 30 quid plus? Um, I don't know what that is in dollars, maybe $35, I don't know, I'm probably wrong. Um, but yeah, so, I think the moral of this video is, like, just to show you that I started off on basic models of what seemed like basic models, they weren't very expensive, and then I worked my way up to the better ones, and now I play the marine bands and the special 20s, the blues have, and I'm in no way a virtuoso, like I said, I'm not really that good a harmonica player, but I play in a way that suits me, and I'm comfortable with it, and it creates a pleasant sound, I hope, when I play live to an audience, at least no one's complained yet, so, apart from the dog, dog cries. Um, that's the only audience you need really, isn't it? If you can't trust, if your animal doesn't trust you playing, then don't do it, so I guess that's a sign, so, <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, yeah, so I learned on basic models, worked my way up. Um, don't just jump in with the expensive stuff. You don't need to buy the expensive stuff straight away while you're learning. You know, you wouldn't do it with a guitar. You wouldn't buy yourself a Fender Telecaster when you've never played the guitar before. You'd buy like a, a starter kit, wouldn't you? Well, this is exactly what I did um, and worked my way up. So, um, yeah, if you are thinking of learning harmonica and I can provide any kind of inspiration, then this should be it. You know, you don't need lessons, you can use YouTube, you can just pick up on your influences, listen to what they're doing, it, incorporate that. Don't copy them, but try. if you are a songwriter and you want to incorporate that style, make it your own in your songs. It'll naturally come out once you start playing the harmonica because everyone plays differently. Um, so yeah, that's my journey for harmonica really. Um, still learning now, always learning, never going to stop learning. Um, love it, love Horner, um, looking forward to building up my collection. So we'll leave it there guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have got time and you like what you've seen today, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video. And also check out my other videos. Like I said, there's a song called Darling Let It Be Me with a harmonica solo. And I've also got a song coming out soon with a, another harmonica solo in there as well. Um, more to come on that one. But go check out the previous videos if you haven't already. Plenty of harmonica on there, um, but otherwise, Look after yourselves, I'll see you in the next one.